everybody. I'm Maddie. Um, I'm going to talk to you about shoes today. A little bit mm -hmm. different, um, but kind of similar to climbing stuff. Um, I worked at REI selling shoes during my gap year, um, and it was one of the most meaningful jobs I've had outside of camp. Um, and so I want to start, we always start with a why at Stomping Ground. Um, and so I'm not going to do it with everyone, but really quickly, I want you all to look at your shoes, whatever shoes you're wearing, um, and just think to yourself why you put those shoes on today, why you bought those shoes, why you feel comfortable in those shoes, maybe you don't feel comfortable in those shoes. Um, and think of one word that kind of explains that. I'll give you a second. My word um, is versatile for these shoes. Um, and then if a couple people want to volunteer to just shout your word out. Wendy. Humph McGumph. Humph McGumph? <laughs> Anybody else? Red. Red. Love it. Durable. Sturdy. Durable. Sturdy. Squishy. Squishy. Freedom. 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 <laughs> Love it. Anybody else? Very cool. So there's lots of different reasons that we choose our shoes. Um, we're on our feet all day, especially as um, camp people were running around, it's very important that we take care of our feet um, and that we also feel good in the shoes that we're wearing. So it's not always about usability, but it can be about fashion. Crocs, I got the Crocs this summer, it was very fun. <laughs> Never thought that would happen. Um, so there's a lot of different reasons we can choose shoes and there's no best shoe. Everybody used to come into REI and be like, what's the best shoe? What's the best hiking shoe? I'll just buy that shoe. Um, and my answer was always, you're going to have to sit down and we're going to have to fit you and we're going to have to find the shoe that fits you the best. Um, and that's a process. Um, and that was one of the reasons that I really loved the job is because I got to sit down and people got to tell me about their adventures. I heard about people going to the Camino and people um, just getting back out on the trail after a surgery or people taking their kids hiking um, or people going on a backpacking adventure or whatever. Um, they all had different reasons and um, I got to sit down with them and I got them to you know, explain to me what they're looking for, and I got to you know, give them a little bit of guidance throughout the process, but it's all about how the shoe feels, and I can't feel that for them. Um, and so I have questions like, okay, do you feel your toes at the front? Do you feel it like squeezing your toes on the side? Um, stuff like that, that can help guide people, but at the end of the day, it's just like how you feel. I think there's a lot of analogies for kids as well in that, as like there's no shoe that fits every kid, which sounds very cheesy, um, but I think that's true, is like, helping guide kids into things that feel good for them and feel comfortable. Um, because I am a nerd about shoes, I am going to give you a little brief like stuff about fitting shoes. I'll use my own one. Um, so things you want to think about with fit. People typically think about the length, so like your shoe size, everybody's pretty used to that. Um, width, also people think about a lot. How wide is it, especially in the toe box? People typically have wider toes. Um, a fun fact I learned is Shoes were designed, like especially high heels and stuff, to fit in horse stirrups. So the front had to be really narrow and then there had to be a heel on the back to stop it from going all the way through, which is terrible for our feet. It's not how our feet are designed to work at all. Um, and so a lot of shoe brands are working against that now. Um, but you want a pretty wide toe box and then also volume um, is like not a good shoe for an example, but how much it kind of scoops your foot in right here. So especially with hiking boots, you don't want your foot sliding and hitting the front of your shoe. Um, and then what kind of shoe do you want? You know, I don't need to be wearing hiking shoes every day. These are chacos. I love them. Toe coops. Um, but do you want waterproof? Sometimes waterproof is, you know, more hot, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, so I want to end a little bit. Like I said, that job was like really meaningful to me. And I think it was because I got to create those connections with the customers and I got to hear their why behind this like very mundane thing. They're just buying shoes, right? Um, but for a lot of them, it like changed their lives and like they got to go on these adventures that they wouldn't have gotten to go on because they didn't feel comfortable with what they had before. Um, and I was with a team of people that I got to share that with and that was like really passionate about this thing and really passionate about getting people outside um, or inside or wherever they feel comfortable going.